Let's talk about the power of using arrays to solve multiplication equations. An array is a math model with rows and columns. This array has four rows. Rows are horizontal. They go from left to right. This array also has two columns. Columns are vertical. They go up and down. First, let's practice writing multiplication equations that match an array. This array has four rows and two columns. In a multiplication equation, the first factor is the number of rows. The second factor is the number of columns. And the product is the total, or how many in all. So we know that there are four rows. That's the first factor. Two columns, that's the second factor. And we can count that there are eight circles in all. Our multiplication is equation is 4 times 2 equals 8. Let's try another. How many rows are in this array? I see two rows. How many columns are there? I see four columns. How many circles are there in all? We can count by fours. Four, eight. There are eight circles in all. That's our product. Now let's write our multiplication equation. The first factor is four times the second factor is two equals the product is 8. Our multiplication equation is 4 times 2 equals 8. Let's try another example. How many rows are in this array? I see 3 rows. How many columns are there? I see 4 columns. And how many circles are there in all? Let's count by fours. Four, eight, twelve. There are twelve circles in all. That's our product. Now we can write a multiplication equation to match the array. The first factor is three times the second factor is 4 equals the product is 12. Our multiplication equation is 3 times 4 equals 12. Let's look at another way that we could use arrays to help us solve multiplication equations. This equation has the factors 2 and 5. We're trying to find the product. Now you may know your multiplication facts already and just be able to write the product here. 2 times 5 equals what? But there's another way. You can quickly find the product by drawing an array. Remember the first factor is 2, so there should be two rows in your array. The second factor is 5, so there should be five columns. Your array should look like this, two rows of five. Now we can simply count the circles to find the product. Let's count by fives. Five, 10. There are 10 circles in all, so our product will be 10. Two times five equals 10. Great work. 
Let's try another example. We want to solve the equation 3 times 6 equals something. We know the first factor is 3, that's the number of rows. The second factor is 6, that's the number of columns. Now we can draw an array to solve. Our array has 3 rows with 6 in each row. Next, we'd like to know the product. We can count by 6s or 3s. Let's try counting by 3s 6 times. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. There are 18 circles in all. That's our product. Our multiplication equation reads 3 times 6 equals 18. Let's keep going. This equation says 2 times 7 equals something. Let's draw an array that has two rows with 7 in each row. It'll look like this. Next, we want to count the circles to find the total number of circles, which is our product. We can count by twos or sevens. Let's count by two seven times. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There are fourteen circles in all, and that's our product. Our multiplication equation reads 2 times 7 equals 14. Now you know the power of using arrays to solve multiplication equations. If you'd like more practice, you can go to the link in the description box below and find a free worksheet that's available on my website. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe before you go. Good work.